So this is why we need to keep the pillar of emotional prosperity healthy by taking time in the morning before we face the day. I am talking with you today about the pillar of emotional prosperity because of some young lady who got in touch with me by a DM and asked me to address this. Someone told her that her emotions are out of whack and then said, you should check this um, YouTube channel by Tessa Marie Schillingford, The Five Pillars of Prosperity. In this short video, I will talk to you about what is happening when you're feeling that your emotional prosperity is out of whack. So my name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you'll find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when videos of this nature are released. Yes. The five pillars of prosperity. They are mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, and financial. Not one is more important than the other. They're like the fingers of our hand. We need all five to really function on all cylinders. And without them, we'd crash and burn. It's like a member of your team is missing. You all have to pick up the slack. Same thing with the five pillars. So I'm going to address emotional prosperity in this short video. Emotional prosperity is the one that is reacting to our five senses. It's how we react to what we hear, we see, we taste, we smell, and we touch. And when that pillar reacts to any one of these senses, we should be able to keep it in a space that it is maintained so that we have a fulfilled life emotionally. But sometimes there are things that happens in our life that causes us to blow off the handle. And it's because there are pressures on different things. So let's look at emotional prosperity at work. I had this occasion to talk to this lady because she was charged with assault. Working at a department store, a customer approached her concerning an item that was on sale on the sale table, but the item really wasn't for sale. So the customer, of course, was upset and she started blasting this woman. The customer took up her phone to record the conversation. And in taking up the phone at that same moment, that person was lashing out and said, if you do not stop recording me, I'm going to smash your face in. Customer recorded that. Then she went to the police and she charged her with assault. The police examined her, couldn't find anything wrong with her, but she insisted she was in pain, took her to the hospital. Then they, they, they took, went to the company they, at where the woman worked and they charged this woman with assault. Now, the lady, this woman had been under other stresses before. So she had a family situation that was not helping. Her relationship with her son had gone south. She was so upset and that was the apple of her eye. And they no longer communicated for a few years. And that was hurting her. She didn't hear from him. She didn't see him. She didn't talk to him. You know, she had no idea where he was. Look at how her senses were being affected. She did not counsel with anyone about that so that she could bring that level of anxiety and upset and anger away. She blamed his new girlfriend, his lived in girlfriend. She blamed everything and didn't take care of it. And one day it completely exploded at work. How did that pillar of emotional prosperity broke down? was based on something that has been happening in her life for months and years because of the relationship with her son that no longer exists, a son who was the apple of her eye and still is. She's 70 years old working in this department store. So here she is. And you can imagine being faced with that situation. So let's watch this. How the behavior of her son, not seeing him, not hearing him, not talking with him, not hugging him, not kissing him, not able to prepare a meal like she always did for him. And now the consequences of not taking 
control or getting some help when she realized her emotions was being hurt by this relationship with her son going south, it caused her to find herself in this position at work. If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here and you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. So now she has to go to court. She has a court case. Her work has put her off to stay home and they're paying her while this is being looked after. She's 70 years old. She's dedicated 20 years of herself to this company and she stands to lose her job because her emotional prosperity is not working. So let's look at it this way. If she does not get an income or loses this present job, it will affect her pillar of financial prosperity. Right now, in the moment, while she's waiting for this to come to whatever end it's going to come to, it's affecting her physically, mentally, because she's physically, she's getting sick. Her pressure has gone up. She can't think straight. She can't remember all of what really happened, except what they're seeing from the customer's point of view and maybe what they'll see from the company's tip. But in the meantime, she's suffering mentally with her stress going higher, her blood pressure is up, she's constantly sick, and she's not eating properly. It's going to come, get down to affecting her income, and she's worrying about that, although that hasn't taken place. The thing is, though, she should have recognized that she needed to get help to fix that pillar, a conversation, some counseling, but that wasn't something she thought of. So although the cause of her situation is what happened with her son, the symptom ended up being what caused her to be where she is today. And one symptom leads to another symptom and another. So right now, the situation where the pillar was having the stress with her son affected her behavior at work, how she reacted to what the customer said to her, what she heard and how the customer approached her, what she saw. And then her reaction came up and it affected her financially. It's leaning now on her pillar of physical prosperity because now she's sick, she needs to go see a doctor, she needs to be taking um, tablets to bring her pressure down while she's waiting for this situation to solve. So the cause is way back there. But look at the symptoms, her behavior, her health, physical prosperity is taking the blow, mental prosperity, she's stressed. She's scared. She doesn't know what's going to happen to her. She doesn't know whether she'll be charged and have to pay a financial bill. She has, she has no idea. And for that reason, that is why we need to do this. Keeping our pillar of emotional prosperity healthy means we need to take time, time to sit every day, five to 10 minutes a day and breathe into oneself, contemplate, pray, meditate, muse, inflect, see where you are, get to know yourself, see what your triggers are, ask for help. If you know something is weighing on you to the point where you can't see a, fam a family member, member that's big especially a relationship that is torn between a mother and a son. That's huge. So you, if you have this situation, seek help, professional help. Take time on your own to relax in the moment, meditate, listen, observe to the environment, go for walks, pray, exercise, breathe purposely. Watch what you're ingesting, watch what you're doing. Relax in the moment and take care of you. Because you must practice keeping your pillar of emotional prosperity healthy. As a matter of fact, five to 10 minutes a day on each pillar is 50 minutes. And it's important to keep them healthy because you, they, one can be the, the cause, but all four can have symptoms based on the emotional cause in her, in her, in her case. Emotional prosperity, she blew up. 
is affecting her mentally, spiritually, physically, and financially. And she is going through it even now as we speak. So this is why we need to keep the pillar of emotional prosperity healthy by taking time in the morning before we face today to know where we are emotionally and balancing, breathe, prayer, meditate, exercise, dream, relax, laugh, drink water, everything possible to keep that pillar healthy. I know this video will help you and I expect that you will take the time to read my book, The Five Pillars of Prosperity, it's on Amazon, and that will help you. You can practice the teachings there, there are tips and case studies that you can look at. So have a wonderful day and take care of all your pillars. And when you recognize that one needs fixing, stop and help it along the way. Have a great day. If you like this video, just hang on. More videos of that type are coming your way. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers we have, the bigger the content and the guests would come. So have a marvelous and amazing day.